Hello students, welcome to the class of Digital Communication Lab. In the last class we have seen the BPSK modulation and QPSK modulation. In this class we are going to see the amplitude shift king that is the ASK modulation. This is the simplest uh, modulation technique that uh, we are using. So first come to the block diagram of this uh, experiment. As you can see this is uh, the binary set which is generated serially, 1010 pattern. And uh, this is the simplest one because uh, here uh, on the place of 1 there is a simple carrier is present and at the uh, 0 there is no carrier present. So let's see. For this in the block diagram there is SK generation for that there is master signal you already know in the master signal where is present there is a inputs that uh, can be given by this master signal there is 2 kilohertz carrier signal which is a digital carrier signal which i have given the dual analog switch and the second one is a digital 101 to generate the sequence generator the digital signal modeling master signal 2 kilohertz uh, carrier signal has been given and uh, there is sequence generator which generates the binary bit sequence so from that uh, you will get the input data and there is a carrier signal of 2 kilohertz sine wave that is multiplied by this and when by this multiplication the ASK signal is generated so let's see at the trainer kit I have taken the 2 kilohertz sine wave from this uh, to the this is dual analog switch which I have taken from the controller 1 input 1 and uh, at the controller 2 there is a uh, sequence generator line code has been given and this is clock which is 2 kilohertz digital clock frequency has been given and the output of uh, this uh, uh, of uh, ASK modulated signal as you can see this uh, just press auto set for that and you can see the result for that there is single so as you can see when the 1 is present there is a, a carrier frequency is present and when 0 is present there is a just line no carrier uh, no carrier frequency is present so this is basically the amplitude uh, shift king which uh, modulated ASK modulated signal so for the, this is, is the part of ASK modulation for the second part ASK demodulation we can see so for the modulation purpose i have used only 2 kilohertz sine wave but you can use uh, the higher frequency 100 kilohertz sine wave as uh, you can see i'm changing the frequency from 2 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz and you can see the changes what is what will happen here as uh, you can see the result that as i have increased the frequency from uh, 2 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz the frequency of uh, generated modulated signal is increased so you can set uh, to see the effect you can just zoom out this oscilloscope by using uh, this position technique this is single so this is the result which you will get here you can see the frequency of this uh, modulated signal is very high because we have used the carrier frequency from uh, 2 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz and uh, this is for 1 and uh, when it is 0 there is a 0 which is the amplitude uh, that means the amplitude uh, is actually getting 0 so this uh, was the part of uh, ASK modulation now we will see the ASK demodulation second part of this experiment so for the demodulation part as uh, you already know there is a uh, envelope detector is used so for that in envelope detector there is a rectifier and tunable low pass filter or band pass uh, uh, rf uh, baseband low pass filter you can use both are same so uh, for uh, demodulation there is a envelope detector so we you can see there is a rectifier and uh, this is baseband low pass filter or this is tunable low pass filter so i'm just going to uh, add the circuit so for the demodulation part uh, there is dual analog switch output i have given this output to the rectifier here as you can see 
and the rectifier output has, we, has been given to low pass tunable low pass filter input and then the tunable low pass in, uh, input uh, tunable low pass filter output uh, is shown in the CRO as you can press the reset to get the original value of this so this is the output so this is the same output that uh, we have given this is the input and this is the output but there is a fluctuations present here at this edge and here 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 so to remove this edge what we can do as uh, we have already uh, explained in BPSK QPSK modulation that uh, to remove this edge uh, fluctuations we have to use the comparator so for the this part um, for uh, using the comparator as you can see in the manual this is the modulated signal then there is envelope detector used then after the envelope de detector this signal is uh, as in getting that is the uh, fluctuations are present uh, clutches are present at the edges so to remove this clutches we have to use the comparator so the comparator circuit in this uh, trainer kit is this as I have already used this comparator in BPSK and QPSK so now I am going to use the comparator and to get the exact replica of input so now I have given the output of this tunable low pass filter uh, here this one uh, to the input of uh, this comparator and the second input of the comparator is taken from the BCC which uh, already I explained in uh, BPSK modulation and QPSK modulation so you can change uh, this uh, this gain of this VCC to get the exact replica so first, let's first press the auto set and see what is uh, what we are going to get so this is fluctuating signal and it, it is uh, looks like this so I'm going to change this and you can see the result here if I'm reducing the voltage gain it is uh, the output signal is going to zero amplitude and if I'm increasing the then it is uh, obviously exact value then after uh, certain uh, increment of voltage it is uh, then also it's not giving the output so we have to tune at the exact value to get the same result as the input so I think this is correct to get the uh, to see the clear image let's press the single so here you can see this one is the input and this one is the output what uh, what you are you getting it is exactly the opposite that is 180 degree phase shift of input so this 180 degree phase shift has been uh, uh, introduced by this circuit so if you want the exact result you can uh, just pass this output signal to phase shifter here and there is a, a two phase shift zero degree and one, 180 degree if uh, you want to get the exact result you can pass uh, this by this phase shifter and you can get the exact result. but this is the original result but uh, there is a phase shift of 180 degree so you can um, just get this result and this is the correct result so this uh, was the experiment of uh, ASK that is binary ASK modulation so let's summarize uh, uh, all the, what we have done first we have generated the ASK modulation for which there is a we have generated the binary bits and uh, we have taken the 2 kilohertz sinusoidal signal from uh, the master signal uh, input and then we have multiplied uh, we have uh, used the dual analog switch that is multiplication actually and uh, the output of uh, this uh, dual analog switch was ASK modulated signal then I have changed the 2 kilohertz sine wave to 100 kilohertz sine wave just to see the result that high frequency can be get and we can also change the frequency from 2 to 4, 4, 5, 6 but this is not available in the 
trainer kit that's why we are not using when uh, you are uh, using the matlab you can uh, use uh, change the frequency from 2 kilohertz to 3 4 5 and you can see the result what is we are getting at that point so after that we have changed the frequency from 100 uh, 2 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz and uh, we have seen the results also that frequency has been removed uh, has been uh, increased and for the demodulation part we have given the output of this dual analog switch which is ASK moderated signal to the input uh, of um, so we want to give a envelope detector so for envelope detector there is a two component is required one is rectifier the second one is tunable low pass filter so for that I have passed the output of this to uh, this rectifier then the rectifier output has been given to the tunable low pass filter but uh, what we have seen at the output of tunable low pass filter that there is a clutches or there is a some distortion present at the edge of uh, output so to remove that clutches I have passed the signal to uh, comparator just to get the uh, exact or you can see the correct results so I have passed the output of this tunable low pass filter to the uh, comparator input the second uh, comparator input uh, that is the reference is has been taken from the VCC which is uh, just uh, a voltage label we are comparing the voltage label from uh, the input given and if the voltage uh, the, our input is greater than this voltage label we are generating the plus 5 volt or plus uh, 7 volt which uh, is required and if uh, um, comparator works is just uh, if the our input is less than the given voltage that is VCC then it produces the 0 or uh, minus 5 volt so the output of this comparator is actually the out of uh, output of our uh, amped signal so I think finally what we have get uh, what we have got is uh, first we have modulated and then we have demodulated the signal using ASK modulation so and thank you for that one more thing that I want to tell you that uh, we can uh, just uh, we are generating without the noise so exactly the same replica we are getting but when we are adding the noise there is some bit error rate so in this experiment by adding the noise e either you can just uh, do when you are coming in offline mode or you can see by just um, in MATLAB I will uh, yeah we are going to perform with the with the noise also so in the next lab which will be I think offline we will see that